COM8B.20, connected with the inscription of Bagan from Myanmar. Can I ask ICOMOS to start the presentation, please? Okay, good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The ICOMOS report for the evaluation of Bagan in Myanmar can be found in document INF 8B1 on page 166 of the English version and 150 of the French version. This is a revised nomination. Bagan Archaeological Area was nominated to the World Heritage List in 1995. In 1997, ICMOS re recommended that the nomination be referred back to the State Party to address issues related to the boundaries, management, conservation approaches, archaeological investigations, management arrangements and planned developments. Bagan is located on a bend in the Arawadi River in the central dry zone of Myanmar. The property has eight components with a single encircling buffer zone. Bagan is a sacred landscape which features an exceptional array of Buddhist art and architecture demonstrating centuries of the cultural tradition of Buddhist merit making. The nominated area provides evidence of the Bagan civilization between the 11th and 13th centuries, a period when restributional Buddhism became a mechanism of political control. Bagan was a substantial city in a relatively resource poor region and depended on the flows of goods from religious and political exchanges. The traditions of merit making resulted in an increase in temple construction, peaking in the 13th century. Intangible attributes of the property are reflected in Buddhist worship and merit making activities, pilgrimage, traditional cultural practices and farming. The serial property of eight components consists of 3,595 recorded monuments, including stupas, temples, monasteries and other structures for Buddhist spiritual practice, extensive archaeological resources, inscriptions, murals, cloth paintings and sculptures. The property is a vast, complex and layered landscape of elements of different historical periods, styles and scales. The property also incorporates parts of seven villages and two towns and is a complex living community. The landscape is largely intact, despite some individually intrusive elements and varying states of conservation. Earthquakes damaged a number of stupas and temples in 1975 and 2016. The State Party and its partners have made commendable progress in recovering from the damages of this latest disaster, and disaster risk management arrangements are now in place for Bagan. The way in which the nomination of Bagan has been presented by the State Party, reflecting both its historical significance and continuing cultural practices, is compelling. Criteria 3, 4 and 6 are demonstrated. Although potentially vulnerable, the property meets the requirements for integrity. Management of future pressures, including the sustainability of tourism, are important. The quality of life of Bagan's people is central to sustaining its values. While authenticity has been impacted by earthquake damage, natural deterioration and some intrusive developments, the prop property is nevertheless notable for the extensive presence of original historic fabric, archaeological resources, murals, sculptures, combined with the ongoing traditions of Buddhist worship and merit making. ICMOS notes that the State Party has made commendable progress in reversing some of the inappropriate conservation interventions of the past. During the course of the evaluation, exchanges between ICMOS and the State Party have resulted in minor adjustments to the boundaries and buffer zones of several components. The main factors affecting the property are urbanization, future tourism growth, inappropriate development, particularly of hotels and other tourism infrastructure, natural deterioration and earthquake damage. These have been factored into the management system by the State Party and ICOMOS has included a number of recommendations for continuing effort in the draft decision. 
The State Party has recently amended its heritage law, an essential step for ensuring adequate legal protection for Bagan. The integrated management framework is comprehensive and soundly conceived, but has yet to be fully implemented. The further use and elaboration of heritage impact assessments, strategy for the siting and design of existing and future hotel developments, and sustainable tourism planning are priorities in the view of ICOMOS. To conclude, ICOMOS recommends that Bagan in Myanmar be inscribed in the World Heritage List on the basis of criteria three, four, and six, and has included a number of further recommendations in the draft decision to aid the long-term conservation of the property. A draft statement of outstanding universal value is included. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any comments? Yes, please, we have Uganda, then China, please. Mr. Chairman, the Ugandan delegation has carefully reviewed the ECOMOS narrative and appreciates the strong evidence and justification for nomination of Bagan of the State Party of Myanmar onto the World Heritage List. In this regard, the Ugandan delegation is pleased to support the draft decision to inscribe this property on the World Heritage List and congratulates the State Party of Myanmar. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you very much. Uh, China, please. Thank you, Chair. Um, China congratulates uh, uh, the State Party of Myanmar for this nomination, and we also appreciate the uh, very important and a comprehensive review by ICMOS and the nomination by, uh, by WH uh, World Heritage Center. Bagan is an outstanding sacred cultural landscape featuring an exceptional array of Buddhist and architecture, uh, uh, Buddhist art and architecture, demonstrates centuries of Buddhism traditions tradition and culture of the Bagan period. Chinese heritage experts have been privileged to participate in the conservation of this important heritage. China wishes to congratulate Myanmar on its inclusion on the World Heritage List and is aware of the difficulties and pressure, pressure in the protection and management of this heritage property. China is willing to continue to work with uh, Myanmar and contribute to the protection uh, and the inheritance of this important heritage of humankind. China supports the draft amendments. Thank you. Thank you. Spain, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Here, it's a property where everyone except the here in the committee can feel very privileged in being able to participate in the listing of Bagan. Personally, I'm familiar with this site. I was there a few years ago. And the only problem was that I couldn't actually see the UNESCO logo. I was looking for it. I couldn't imagine that it wasn't already on the list of World Heritage. You can see that it's a place that they've been working on for many, many years. And as was mentioned as well, and uh, since 1996, that work has really been carried out and with a big push over the last five years, and this can be seen perfectly in the nomination file. Our experts had a, a lovely time looking at the cartography, which is exceptional both from a quantitative as well as from a qualitative point of view. We're not used to working with something of such high quality, especially a place that's so large. To be able to see the cartography, that was really a... Uh, a, a true a true privilege so we are of course absolutely in agreement with the listing of the site and we're actually surprised that it wasn't already inscribed in the past thank you very much Myanmar for this presentation for the great effort that you've been making because it's a property that is incredible and you've got a great challenge ahead of you as well especially the management plan 
And it would be very good news if that was really taken seriously and that Bagan became a paradigm of uh, well-managed properties. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Indonesia, please. Thank you, Chair. Indonesia would like to take this opportunity to support the recommendation of the advisory body to inscribe Bagan sites in the list of the World Heritage. We commend Myanmar for taking successful effort to fulfill the criteria three, four, and six of the outstanding universal values for which Bagan was nominated, and also to maintain the integrity and authenticity of the site that must have been an arduous task considering the fast and complexity of the site. We look not of detailed recommendation concerning a number of aspects of the site and encourage Myanmar to fulfill the recommendations in order to maintain Bagan in the world's heritage list. Our congratulations to Myanmar Mar, uh, for the first inscription of UNESCO World Heritage Site. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Norway, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Norway would like to join the massive con congratulations to the distinguished state party of Myanmar for its nomination of this wonderful place on earth. Bagan is really a pearl that will enhance the relevance and reputation of the World Heritage List. We hope that the designation of World Heritage status will gain the site and the social life of the people living there. We do so well aware that Bagan most likely will face considerably challenges in the handling of tourism, which may grow extensively and pose impacts on both the physical appearance of the site as well as on its social life. This is reflected in the long list of recommendations to the State Party. The values are extremely vulnerable, so a sustainable tourism strategy will have to be made according to the highest standards set by UNESCO. So again, as we share the happiness, we also hope for the State Party's competence and will to succeed in all the preservation tasks that may emerge. Thank you. Thank you very much. St. Kitts and Nevis. Thank you, Mr. Chair. St. Kitts and Nevis commends the State Party of Myanmar on the excellent submission of this impressive and important site of Began and for overcoming great challenges in the conservation and preservation of the site, which deserves inscription on the World Heritage List as recommended by ICOMOS. We therefore support the draft amendment and congratulate the State Party of Myanmar. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. We had seven uh, interventions from the committee members. Uh, I think that if we will do uh, this way, it will be more correct. If there are no other opinions, if there are no objections to the file, let me ask uh, honorable delegates to proceed to the uh, approval of the draft decision. No objections? No insistence on the word? Thank you. Uh, may I ask Rapporteur about the alternative project? Thank you, Mr. Chair. We have no proposed amendments. Thank you very much. As it was noted by all, uh, in, in all interventions, the uh, value of this site is uh, great and uh, therefore there is no other opinions on the matter. So I declare decision 43.8B20 adopted as amended. cordially congratulate the delegation of Myanmar for the first ever inscription in the World Heritage List and gladly present the word to the delegation of Myanmar. Please, you're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a proud moment, not just for us, but for all of you to be part of this inscription process. As Honorable Chair has rightly said earlier at the Italian side event, particularly for us to witness Bagan 
being listed as the second water site in Myanmar. I wish to express on behalf of the government and people of Myanmar and on my own behalf my most profound appreciation and thanks to all distinguished members of the committee, Madame Rosler, director of the Water Resource Center, and her whole team and advisory bodies for their valuable support for the successful inscription of Bagan in the Water Resource List at the current session. The honor of Bagan being inscribed in the Water Resource List owes to efforts and collaboration of many stakeholders, government officials, as well as intellectuals, local and foreign exports, as well as development partners, private sectors, and volunteer groups, including Bagan in our heart, and local communities during the long journey of inscription process. Our wholehearted thanks goes to many countries, namely among others, China, Colombia, Germany, India, Italy, Japan, and the Republic of Korea, Switzerland, for their contributions to the comprehensive nomination began to a war heritage site. As portrayed by a poet named Captain C.M. Inderich in his poem Bagan in 1940, Bagan has always stood out as follows. Murders of blacks, painters on the wall, spires of gold mounted on high secrets, risen to heavens, a crowd of many bells, the best in every style, Bagan excels. Bagan is a living heritage, having endured all forms of challenges for more than 1,000 years. Today, we are celebrating the joyous moment of the successful inscription of Bagan in the War Heritage List. Afterwards, we will continue our efforts on conservation and management of Bagan so that this treasure heritage will remain for another thousand years as a heritage of humanity or heritage for their posterity. Before I conclude, allow me to take this opportunity to warmly invite you, Mr. Chair, and everyone right here to visit Bagan, the heart of Myanmar and to get mesmerized by its unique beauty and magnificence. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. We once more congratulate you, and we, I just want to say you that I have been there, and it is a great place. Thank you very much for invitation. Now we proceed to another item of our Agenda. This is nomination number 8B.21. 